Got another question on the buffer solutions topic, so we're up to number three now. There it is there, so if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we'll make a start. So we've got to explain why a buffer solution is formed when an excess of propanoic acid is mixed with aqueous sodium hydroxide. So we'll just start by reminding ourselves what the key components of a buffer are. So it's a weak acid. So in the case of this question, that's going to be your propanoic acid. And conjugate base, so again in the case of this question, it's going to be sodium propanoate because we're using sodium hydroxide in this reaction with the propanoic acid. So there's the equation for the reaction between propanoic acid and sodium hydroxide. So it's making the salt sodium propanoate and water. So if you use an excess of the weak acid, that means at the end of this reaction, you're still going to have some weak acid left, but you're also, obviously, you've made this salt here. And within that mixture, you've got the key components. You've got your weak acid and you've got your conjugate base. Okay, so moving on to the second bullet point. Now we've established why we've got a buffer solution. We've got these two key components. How does it work or how does it control pH when acid or alkali is added? So if we start with um, the effect of acid, so if you add acid, a small amount of acid to this buffer system, you're effectively increasing the H plus concentration. So you've got this reservoir of conjugate base ion from the salt, which can react with the H plus ions or the extra H plus ions put in from the additional acid. It's going to send the equilibrium over to the left it's going to bring the H plus concentration back down roughly to where it was before and therefore maintain the pH level. And then if we look at the flip side of that, so if you add a small amount of alkali, you're adding OH minus ions, hydroxide ions, they're going to remove the H plus ions. So the concentration of H plus ions will decrease. So your reservoir of the weak acid now dissociates more to replace the lost H plus ions and so the equilibrium shifts to the right. And again, the H plus concentration will get back to roughly where it was before and therefore the pH is maintained.